Absolutely, because I am a better person when I'm tan. So I am fresh out of the shower and I'm gonna show you what I use to take off my old tanner first. So I use this by Loving Tan. It's a eraser. You put this, it's like a gel. You put it on your body like 10 minutes before you're gonna take a shower. I take a bath and then use this to scrub the old tan off. And then I shave my legs. Not, I don't really need to shave as much. I'm not done with all my laser hair removal treatments yet. So I do need touching up of like shaving at that point. I should mention I do this the day before I'm gonna do my tan. Then the day that I'm going to do my tan, I use this product. I get the Loving Tan Express two hours. I leave it on for like 12 hours. But this is my favorite. Um, they, I like the color guide. So you have some that are clear and then some that have color in it. I find this one is always leaving me with like a natural brown olive tan. It is very forgiving in my opinion when you apply it. Um, and like the clear ones, I always seem to like miss spots even though I swear I've like put plenty of product there. So like I need it to be colorful when I put it on. When you put this on, it's gonna look darker than it actually is, but when you wash it off in the morning, it looks a lot more reasonable. I will say one of the like key things with this foam is like it attaches itself to any dry patches. So you need to make sure you're very moisturized. So what I typically do is like the night before I'm gonna do my spray tan, I scrub off my old tan. The morning of my day that I'm gonna do my tan, I moisturize heavily, like as much as I can all throughout the day. Then I take a shower and make sure like I don't need to shave anymore or anything like that. And then I do moisturizing again. Then I'm gonna wait for like an hour for it to dry and then I do this. I leave this on until as long as I can until tomorrow morning. If I can make it until the afternoon, I'll do that. The longer this sits, the better I think it like longer it lasts. But if you can only do like eight hours overnight, that's great too. And honestly, even if you can only do two hours, like you'll get a nice glow, but I prefer for it to sit as long as possible. I also have a husband that does my back for me, um, but there is this handy dandy little thing that you can kind of like put your, like thing on, just kind of squish it there and then you go like this and then it will blend all over your back or any like of areas that you can't reach. And one last thing I want to mention is you need a kabuki brush. So I don't put any product directly on my face or my hands or my feet. I use this and I like spray out some, pump out some of the product onto my mitt. I take this, I swirl it in there, and then I just kind of like blend it out. So on my face, I just do my cheekbones underneath and then my nose and then my forehead, which I'll do on camera. And then same with my hands, I just kind of like blend it all in. Okay, so when I actually do my face, what I do is I pump out like two of these. I take my kabuki brush and I just kind of blend it in a little bit. And I blend through here and you it's gonna look crazy, but you gotta trust the process. So put a little here, I go underneath my chin and kind of like go down my neck. Through here, I do a little bit on my nose. I don't like, I don't, I have a small nose, so I don't ever feel like I need to contour my nose, but there's definitely like an opportunity where if you want your nose to look a little bit smaller, you could go through and like draw lines. I don't do that because I don't, I have a pretty small nose. So I just like the little bit of sun kiss like on my nose. So I just kind of blend that here. I do have a big forehead. So I'm gonna do another pump for my forehead. Um, and what I do here is I just kind of like go in here and just kind of blend it up into my hairline. Please blend in your hairline. Trust me, you will look crazy if you don't. Um, and then just kind of like blend this out. So I'm gonna do this cheek. I know it looks crazy. Trust the process, trust the process. It looks great in the morning. You look snatched and you don't like have a need for makeup. It's amazing. Okay. And then like my body is pretty much like any other self tanner. I just do like two pumps. I will say this gets me 
a lot of tan so it's an expensive like it's an expensive product i think it's like 50 or 60 bucks but i get so many tans out of it lasting a long time um so here just kind of like i try to avoid my like elbow and um until like there's not as much product on my hand my mitt and then i just kind of go through it real fast because again like this it really attaches to dry patches so if you have any dry patches it's going to cling to that and it's going to look scaly and not natural okay i want to show you one more product that is the key to having your spray tan last like two weeks is this baby right here um so on day five six seven whenever you start to notice your skin like looking a little scaly or like your like spray tan is just kind of rubbing off it's not as bright uh, and beautiful as it was you grab this so here's why this is great i would never use this without a tan already on my skin but because it doesn't have a color guide but this like boosts my tan that i already have on my skin and it's super hydrating the other thing that i'll say is like between days one and whenever you grab this you should be lotioning your body like constantly hydrating your skin and that helps keep the skin like the tan in plate like intact and looking crisp but you also need this to do kind of like a light like upper on your like revamp a rejuge i don't know you know what i'm saying for your tan and this is what gets me to a two-week tan it's amazing okay one last thing with that bb glow product or b2 glow or whatever it's called you don't have to do the full routine like you don't have to scrub off the tan you don't have to like do the whole bath thing like it is just treat it like a lotion like just put it on your body like a lotion put it on at night you don't even have to rinse it off and it just like hydrates and it like refreshes that spray tan it's so good